some words to the children. I hope you were listening. We heard about the planting of the seed and then what did we hear after that? The seed, while the man who planted it was fast asleep. The seed grew. And it tells us he did not know how. There's a song that all of you know. We all know it. Even the adults know it. And we're sick to death of it. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Well, some of us who are too big, we know that too well. Yes. But it's a truth. Because the seed that was planted was just a tiny, tiny, tiny seed. And what grew, we know in the story, that what grew was grain. What do we use grain for? Wheat, for example, is probably the grain they were talking about. What do we grow with wheat? What do we do with it? We mill it. And what's it become? <coughs> Flour. Flour. Very good. I wanted you to go to the end product. What's it then become? It becomes McDonald's buns. Doesn't it? Eh? It becomes bread. So the tiny seed, have you worked this out, Tom? The tiny seed that grows to become wheat is then crushed and refined into flour. That clever boy knew flour. And from flour we make bread. When I was a small boy like you, as small as you and you, younger than you. I'm not small. Well, you're pretty small. <laughs> when I was a little boy, my grandfather owned three <coughs> factories in Glasgow. And one of the factories, because it had been the war, <coughs> the engine, was turned into a flour mill which was owned by a large Jewish company. And one of my childhood memories was going into the flour mill and seeing them making the flour and putting it into bags. And there was no health provision in those days. And I remember all the workers had big, round, black eyes because their faces were covered in the white of the flour. <coughs> and they were bagging the flour in order to make bread because it was after the war then, but during the war that was very important because Europe needed bread. And seed, wheat, flour, bread. Think of that. Seed, wheat, flour, bread. And that is in our world, we call, we used to call bread the staff of life. <coughs> the staff of life. For people living in Asia, it's not bread. It's rice. Rice. Of course, if you go to Asia now, you'll get probably, I remember when I worked in Japan, you get the best French bread in the world isn't in France, it's in Japan. <laughs> because they now make French breadsticks, lovely baguettes. Now Jesus was using the story <coughs> to tell us that from little things, big things grow. And we don't need to know all the answers because the man who planted the seed, he slept day and night while this strange miracle occurred and the tiny seed became a grain that he could use. It's a miracle. It's wonderful. And every day 
this miracle is happening. We don't understand entirely everything about it, but every day this miracle is happening. And it's like you, when you were just a tiny seed and you also grew to be a person. Oh, yes, you were. You were, and you were very tiny, much tiny. Of course I was. Much tinier than you are now. And one day, you will be a man. You will be a, as big as you will grow. You will reach that stage. And Jesus makes it clear to us that this miracle is part of God's purpose for us. Remember, seed, flower, no, seed, grain, flour, and then bread. <coughs> Say it again. Seed, grain, flour, bread. And in similar way, you will grow for God's special purpose as well. Now you can go and have a break. Go and have a break. Take them somewhere for a little break. Now part of that sermon, of course, was for you as well. But I want to say a little bit more to those of you who are supposedly grown up.